my grandfather started in 1929 and at that time they used to do you know they used to do some work for the auto companies out of plate glass vent visors and that type of stuff uh, they've done plate glass for they did mirrors they did plate glass for kitchen or for um, furniture uh, but they always they always did do the leaded glass in the in the uh, in the church windows that's been ongoing uh, of course now we just focus on on that alone so basically the process is after the glass is cut to pattern and then the glass is cleaned and then This is a ceramic based, well actually it's a glass based paint with oxides mixed with water. We get it to the right consistency. So for the black robe, because there's highlights in a black robe, we start with the lightest color, which is the gray, which we think would be the brightest highlight on the piece in the folds and whatnot. So, In a situation with black, the uh, truth is, is that we're painting with light. So we black the piece out completely and then pull the lights out of it. And the paint's gotta dry before I can go on to the next step. So it's in the process of doing that. So while this piece is drying, I'm just gonna coat out a few more of these. Um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I should show you a little bit about this because this is a very interesting thing and very particular to the job. And that is the expressions on the faces. Here, is the face. We did a couple of them. Uh, actually, we did quite a few of them till, till we were happy with it. Uh, there's another one. Um, but basically, to, there, these go in and out of the kiln several times um, until, until we're happy with it. But basically, again, we're painting with light. So in this case, I've coated this out in the flesh tone, and now I'm removing some of the paint to show the highlights. So we do these steps and then we fire it in the kiln at about 1200 degrees. And then we check them again to see if they're what we want. And if not, we can add more paint. Once it's fired, you can't take paint away, but you can certainly add paint to it. This step kind of brings out the lifelike appearance in the piece. And we let it lay around for a while so we can all get to comment on it and see how it grows on us before we actually use it. Okay, so Mark is going to the grout in. The grout is a um, putty-based material. 
um, that is made to stay somewhat elastic for a long time, um, but it binds the glass to the lead, seals it, and really gives the window its integral strength, the grout does. And that's why after windows, say, get 75 to 90 years old and the grout starts to break down, uh, they lose their strength. So he's forcing the putty under the flange of the lead and then his next chore is to remove the excess. Well, no, you're gonna press the lead down, are you not? Yep. He's gonna press the lead down and seal it to the glass. As you can see, I don't think there's any way that a process like this could be automated mm -hmm. because uh, every pattern is different. And, um, you know, if we were the auto company, maybe we'd have the wherewithal to figure out a machine. But other than that, it's hand done like all the rest of the process. This glass was manufactured in West Virginia <clears throat> um, at the uh, Wismack Glass Company. And they've been in business since the mid 1800s. So now he's pressing, using a roller tool to press the lead down to the glass tight and seal in the grout. It's in a small space in there. As much as the rest of the fabrication of the window is fun, this is the most important and probably the, uh, the, the most critical part of the window because you can see a, a wrong press here or there would cut a crack, could cause a crack on those small skinny pieces. And then basically we have to tear the window apart to put in a new piece. So in this project, we're going to run um, a 3 8 by eighth inch thick bar along these sweeps and they're going to come out to the edge of the window and be notched into the moldings that hold it into the window. What that does is it alleviates all the weight of the window into the framework, section by section. And um, we think our windows have the potential to last way more than 100 years now, simply because we pay a lot of attention to structure and bracing. So this is the star that's on the left panel. You can see a little bit of the putty using out here. Um, these have been puttied a few days ago. They're gonna be re-puttied today. Uh, but you can see the nice black finish. It's actually gonna get shinier and blacker than that, but here's what the window looks like.